Hi there, it's Harry Kalimnios from The Thought Gym, here helping you become your superhuman self. This series of videos is all around movement. So this is about how can we uh, move our bodies a little bit more, maybe first thing in the morning, maybe during the day when you've been sat down at your desk for a while. So what I call them is five a day movement flows. Uh, what, why am I calling it that? Well, because we're often told about eating five a day in terms of fruit and vegetable, but not always in terms of movement. So the way it's gonna work is these are only five minutes long. There are five exercises and you do each exercise for 30 seconds, which means you do each exercise twice. There are different series in this whole movement repertoire from a foundational piece to a mobility piece to a stretching piece to a strength to a more of a hit training even to a Qigong inspired flow as well. So there are many different ones and the way it works is that you either take uh, five minutes and you just do five minutes. So maybe when you wake up in the morning, you just before you brush your teeth and jump out the door, you do your five minutes. Or if you've got 10 minutes, you can do it twice or stack a second one on. Or if you've got 25 minutes, maybe you stack five together. So it's really up to you how you do it. They're gonna be individually set as videos, but then there'll be a, uh, all stitched together in one long flow as well. So you can actually do this as an entire thing with one video. Um, but really the idea is you just do five minutes and if you've got 10 minutes, you'd stack a second one, 15, you stack a second one, uh, a third one. Also, there will be with some of the exercises, um, more like beginner, intermediate sections and more advanced sections. So where appropriate, the screen will be split and you'll have the beginner section on one side or beginner intermediate on one side or intermediate advanced on the other side, depending on, on the particular exercise. So do what you can and uh, there'll be a timer as well. So you'll be able to just follow along with the timer and the idea is not to think about it. If this isn't the first time you're watching the video, no need to watch the introductions and the uh, exercise explanations. You can just jump straight into the exercise. But we're gonna get started by showing you the different exercises for each of the routines and then the routine will be after that. So the video will be longer than five minutes. So without any further ado, let's get started. Welcome to the strength series of the five a day movement flows. So this is uh, gonna be tough. Uh, even the regressed versions are gonna be tough. So um, let me just demonstrate what those are. So the first one is a push up, okay? We've done push-ups in um, some of the other series, but the different series is going to be super slow. So five to ten seconds down, and then either push up quickly or coming up super slow. So the regression is really, as before, either on your knees uh, or um, on something to the side or a wall, okay? But the premise is still the same in that it's super slow. So I'll just demonstrate it on the knees uh, to begin with. Again, elbows can come out diagonally, they can come behind. It's a little bit harder to come out there. You can vary the hand position, just put your hands together. It, it's really up to you. There are so many different variations of the push up, okay? But the key thing here will be coming down as slow as possible. So you're going to come down maybe like 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Or when you come down slowly, okay, then you explode up, okay? that's gonna be actually slightly easier. Okay, so that's the first one, um, is the push-up, okay? Next one is gonna be a, a wall sit. So sitting against the wall, uh, the easier version is gonna be coming up higher. The more intense version will be having your thighs parallel to the floor, okay? So push-ups, then wall sit. And then we're gonna go on to single leg squat. So the way we're gonna do this, um, and again, the regression here <clears throat> will be being supported. Um, so you can have, for example, grab onto a wall or a strap or anything that's hanging, 
and also of course not coming down as far. So it might be instead of a pistol squat which is coming down with the leg in front which uh, you have to have really good mobility on the ankle to do or raise the ankle or the heel a little bit by putting something underneath it. Uh, another version is just to come down like this. Okay, So we're going to come down like this. Okay. The regression version is just not coming down as far, being supported so you can pull yourself up somewhat. Okay, So that's the third one, is a single leg squat. Then we go on to, your legs are going to be killing you at the end, but it's going to be jumping squats. So jumping like this for 30 seconds, Okay, that's going to be tough. The regression again is more the side to side squat. Okay. That's your regression. Um, and then finally, we've got these sit ups. So, if I demonstrate it side on, your legs are going to be straight. <coughs> Move these out of the way. Maybe arms straight. And we come up like a folded book. Oh, legs are not quite straight there. But something like that. Regression is going to be allowing the legs to bend and coming in like this. Or variation could be one leg, maybe even a twist. Okay, so these are going to be your exercises and your regressions or your easier versions that you can do. Okay, super slow push ups. Coming down as slow as you can, maybe even coming up slow or coming up fast. Up to you, but we may only get one push-up done in this entire 30 seconds. And that is totally fine. And then we go to wall sits, coming down, thighs, parallel with the ground, knees hip width or just wider apart, knees over the ankles, tracking over the second toe, should start to feel it after about now. And we go to the single leg squats. Again with the single leg squats, if you can do pistol squats, you can do pistol squats, otherwise Maybe you do all on one leg and then all on the other leg to the other round. Okay, so you really feel it. You can come down low and up. Come down wherever is comfortable, just keep that knee safe and tracking over the second big toe. Good. Then we do our jumping squats. These are a killer. That is for sure. And then we do the V sits. Oh, 30 seconds of this after single leg squats. My left leg is definitely feeling it. V sit. Oh. Doing our best here. No, it might never be perfectly straight, but we do what we can. And push ups coming up. Keep going. Again, maybe you just get one push up, and that's fine. Coming down as slow as is possible for you. And coming up either fast or again slow. Onto the wall sits. Again, try and just come down to right angles with the legs. Not any further. Oh, a single push up in the uh, jumping squats. That really takes it out of you. 
Oh. Then you start to feel it here. And then we've got the single leg on the right. See how that goes. So again, this is a balance as well as a squat. If you can come down lower than me, come down lower. If you can do a pistol squat with the leg out in front and come all the way down to the ground. More power to you. Awesome job. Ready for the jumping squats. Open up the chest as you come up, swinging the arms. Final one, the V set, push ups. I find interlacing the thumbs can work. It's still really tough. Thank you for doing this five a day movement flow. I hope it's made you feel a little bit better. And remember you can stack the flows, um, do them repeatedly uh, throughout the day, morning, at work, when you come home, just before you go to bed, whenever you want to do it. If you've got five minutes, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, whatever it is, and stack them on. So be sure to check out the other videos in this series so that you can get all the benefits. And remember to Connect with me online, social media or otherwise, The Thought Gym, Harry Kalimnios, uh, that's where you're going to find me. Cheers, bye bye.